Uh, hey guys and welcome to another um, collection video and this time around I've got an unusual collection that I I hadn't even given any thought to until just uh, like within the last four or five days uh, as I stumbled across this stuff in my in my multitude of boxes of stuff in this house that nobody sees because they're way off camera but because of how long I've worked in retail and working in electronics I've gotten some what I would call perks over the years uh, and one of the biggest groups of those perks are buttons, pins, lanyards and all kinds of neat little little things that I've managed to get uh, during my time in working in retail. So I decided that I was going to show some of that stuff off. This first video, or I don't know if this will be more than one part, it'll depend on how long the video goes. But this first one is going to have to do with buttons and pins and other different little knickknacks that I've picked up surrounding gaming. I'll be doing another video or a couple of videos uh, in the future that are going to be based on stuff that I've collected for movies. But I thought I'd show the gaming ones first because I have a little bit less of that than the movie collection. So. I'm going to actually start off by showing something that's not buttons or pins, but actually pre-order cards that we used to have at Walmart for some of the upcoming games that were coming out. And I was looking at some of these. Some of these go back to like 2004 and 2005. So I'll just show them off here in order. Um, this first one here is, <coughs> whoops, lots of glare there. This is for Doom 3 for the original Xbox. Uh, it was coming out in uh, March of 2005. Also in March of 2005, this is for the PC. This is for Sims 2 University. So that would be uh, an expansion for Sims 2. For the Game Boy Advance coming out in May of 2005, this is Pokemon Emerald version. Uh, April 2005 release for the Xbox Jade Empire, a game that I've played a little bit of, and, and uh, it looked pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. This is the Xbox release of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, released in June of 2005. And there's the a PlayStation 2 pre-order card. There's actually two of them. And I've got the Xbox... Um, pre-order card from November 2004 for Halo 2 and September 2004 the original Fable for the Xbox uh, December 2004 for the Xbox Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 and then I got Xbox and PlayStation 2 pre-order cards for the Revenge of the Sith video games. So, let's grab some of these bigger, clunkier things from off the top of this. Here's a lanyard that I have for Madden 2013. So that's something a little more recent. I have all kinds of lanyards. Here's an Xbox 360 lanyard that included some informational stuff at the end. We'd wear these and put our name badges on the front of the cards. It was kind of neat. <clears throat> I guess a lot of the lanyards are buried at the bottom. And here's one for the Nintendo DS that also has a thing here at the end. This is the for Brain Age. So I was always excited to get these. I've got here is another. DS one and on the end of it is is something for the actual original DS. Yeah, I was always excited when the game people would come in and have these uh, lanyards. And I I tried to wear as many as I could. Here's one for the Nintendo GameCube with nothing on the end. Here is one for the Game Boy Advance SP, also with nothing on the end of it. And this one's for the PlayStation 3. With nothing. And here's one for the Xbox. 
and this one has an informational card on it for Project Gotham Racing 2. Project Gotham Racing 2. And I see another PlayStation 3 lanyard. This one a little bit different than the last one. Kind of has like a smoky look to it. Nothing on that one. And I don't see... No, I do see another one right here. No, I see quite a few more. Got another uh, Nintendo DS lanyard with nothing on the end of it. It's another 360 lanyard. And this is a Diablo 3 lanyard there. It's only the, the mark for the 3. It doesn't actually say Diablo. Here is a 989 Sports PlayStation. And on the end of this one, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I've got, uh, let's see, Mech Assault. Here was the Game Before the Game VIP Pass. Some sort of a special thing for... NFL Game Day 2003. Here's a Blake Shelton CD coming out. Uh, there's a card that says Get Ready to Play. It's about Xbox Live. And then the last one is a Splinter Cell. All attached to that lanyard. Oh, the lanyards just keep on coming. There's another 360 lanyard. And, well... Oh, I don't know what that was attached to. It's just a chain. This one's got something on it, though. This is a Halo 2 dog tag. It says Halo 2 on that side. It's got nothing on the back, but it's on a little chain. And now let's just let's start showing some of the other stuff that I got in here. Here is a Halo 2 pin. And I, I want to pull this to show what it does, but I've never done it. That'll take the battery out, and then you press this button, and I do believe that this top part lights up. But it's still kind of like perfect condition, never been activated, so I, I want to leave it like that. Uh, let's see. Here is, this is for the Wii Donkey Kong Barrel Blast, and it's four buttons in here with characters from that game, and then one button that says Barrel Blast. I did not give any thought whatsoever as to where I was going to put all this stuff. <clears throat> uh, let's see. This is probably going to be impossible to see on camera. I, I'm sure you've seen these little kind of like plastic bracelets that you can put on. And this one says on it, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory 9.9, .9, highest score ever from... Official Xbox Magazine. Like I said, it's really hard to see it because you can kind of make out the, the wording on it. Here's some more Nintendo buttons. Mario Power Tennis, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Pikmin, New Play Control. Okay, I think these were GameCube games that were adapted over to the Wii. And this was advertising that they had New Play Control. Uh, here is a keychain for Xbox Live. It says Xbox Live there, but this one looks like the front of the original Xbox 360. Um, this is an F0 GX. And what this has got has uh, some sort of... I don't know if they're supposed to be stickers. This isn't really going to show up very well on camera. But inside of this baggie is another little baggie with some stickers. I see GameCube, but there's other ones behind it, and I don't want to tear that open to try to get too far into that. But it's kind of neat. Here are some Fable 2 buttons from 2008. Fable 2 is your character, Fable 2, and another one here at the end, which is more like an evil-looking, maybe it's an antagonist or something. Um, all right, now here's some of the actual buttons and pins, you know, with the little buttons on there. We used to be able to put them on our, on our vests or our shirts that we wore. Um, 
which I did a little bit of for a while, and then I realized that these things got beat up very easily if I did so. But there's a Mario Party 7 one. I'm just going to grab these out and go so there won't be any kind of rhyme or reason to it. But here's a Donkey Konga 2 for the GameCube. Here is an Xbox. Xbox plus two free Sega games. Limited edition asked for details. Sega GT 2002 and Jet Set Radio Future. So this is a this one really was a pure advertising button here explaining that you could buy an Xbox that came with two free games. Here is one for Flash Focus, a Nintendo DS game. God, I remember when the DS came out and we had all these little brain games and and little interesting kind of experiences that were very ungame-like in my opinion, but they were popular. Here is the Nintendo GameCube release of The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. I wish I could get this without so much glare, but I need the light. Alright, here's a three-dimensional Game Boy Advance WarioWare Twisted. I don't know how well this will translate on the video, but he's moving the, the Game Boy Advance around. Here is a button for Pokemon Emerald version for Game Boy Advance. Here's PlayStation 2 MLB 2004 from 989 Sports. Uh, NFL Street coming to stores on January 15th, 2004. Here is a button for the Nintendo DS Lite. Lighter, brighter. And here's one for the PSP, arriving on March 24th, 2005. So, well over 11 years ago, the PSP come out. That's just hard to believe. There's another lanyard that was a little bit buried. Xbox 360 and Halo Wars. With some more pieces down here, Halo Wars, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Those were always neat. Here's another pin. This is very similar to the Halo 2 pin, but this one is for um, Forza Motorsports. It looks like the original Forza Motorsports. Uh, here is Brain Age 2 for the Nintendo DS. Like I said, had lots of those games and lots of stuff advertising them. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix for the Nintendo GameCube. The Godfather of the Game, coming March 2006. Xbox, the original Xbox is now on rollback for $149.92. For the Game Boy Advance, the classic series, the classic Nintendo games that released for the Game Boy Advance. When I briefly had a Game Boy Advance, I had a couple of those, like Zelda and uh, original Metroid, I believe. Oh, here's a uh, bottle opener for Gears of War 2. I was just thinking I've got a shelf sitting right up over here above my shoulder, above my television, that has a few advertising things. But I think when I do my room tour, I'll show that one. I'll show the, the stuff on that off. Alright, Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii. A game that I recently picked up. Um, there's another, The Godfather of the Game. Donkey Konga 2 for the GameCube. Coming soon, The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the Nintendo DS. Thank goodness for Nintendo and all their buttons, because a lot of this stuff that I have is Nintendo. Including this one, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for the Nintendo DS. Uh, here is another of the classic series for Game Boy Advance, same as the one before. Mario Party for the DS.
Mario vs. Donkey Kong for the Game Boy Advance. There's another of the WarioWare Twisted one. And for the Nintendo GameCube 1080 Avalanche snowboarding game. Here is a basic advertisement for the Xbox 360. Uh, it says the future of gaming and entertainment. Let's see if this works. Yep. The little light on it still flashes, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we got Star Wars Battlefront 2, the video game. Now that's freaking awesome to have that because we all know from the recent Battlefront game that wasn't received all that well uh, that these were the classics. These were the ones to go to. All right, we got um, the Metroid Prime bonus bundle. Um, this is, <coughs> excuse me, Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes and a GameCube for $99.44. I would have loved to have bought a GameCube back in the day, or at least I would have loved to have kept the one that I owned briefly. Here's Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red for Game Boy Advance. Nice and colorful. Pikmin 2 for the GameCube. There is yet another Godfather the Game button. <coughs> On a lot of these I tried to grab two. But I guess on that one, for some reason, I grabbed three. Here's a silly as hell one. My Street for the PlayStation 2. I don't even know who put this game out. And they actually managed to put buttons out to advertise it. Here's a very, very recent one. And I don't get a lot of these. But this one was an Ask Me About the Wii U. So this could, is only a couple years old. Lord of the Rings, the battle for Middle Earth. Getting low here. Oh, I just found another Ask Me About Wii U. Here is the Game Boy Player. See, in addition to the GameCube I wish I would have kept, this was another thing I wish I would have had. The Game Boy Player that allows you to play Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games through your GameCube onto your television. Because even though I wasn't a big fan of the handheld, I would have loved to have been able to play a lot of games for it. Uh, well, that's a bummer. I just found another Halo 2 pin that's got the little piece pulled, but the button's not doing anything to it. Um, here is, uh, I guess you would call it a bumper sticker for PlayStation 3. Play Beyond. Sorry about the glare there, but that's pretty snazzy. What do we got here? Oh, here's some... Xbox 360 buttons. I've got some of these loose, too, so I'll show them off. Because <clears throat> that's hard to see those. They're teeny tiny. That one's just white. Xbox 360 with the logo in the middle. And I thought I saw some other ones, so we'll, we'll see in here in a moment. Now, this is pretty cool, and I think I have a... Or I think I did at one point have a loose one of these. But this is a PlayStation necklace. And it's got a little battery pack in here, and you could light it up, and this lit up. Uh, but that one's not activated. If I still have the other one in here somewhere, I'll be able to show it off. Uh, here's something. I think this came off of a display of some sort, but this is Super Paper Mario. I think there was a piece uh, that was like Mario that was attached to this at one point. Um... Here for the Xbox is Soldier of Fortune 2 Double Helix. That's kind of a random one, in my opinion, to have gotten a button. Uh, oh, cool. There's another of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 buttons. Nintendo DS Browser. The internet at your fingertips on the Nintendo DS. From what I heard, though, it wasn't that great of a browser. And here is advertising that the Game Boy Advance SP has been rolled back from 99.77 to 79.42. Nice, beautiful red Game Boy. Here is a button for Halo 2. Reserve your copy today. A 
Okay, so these are reminiscent of the pre-order cards, only these are danglers that would go on your your lanyards, but this is a NCAA Game Breaker 2004 for PlayStation 2. Downhill Domination for PlayStation 2. Love this game. I did a video about it like the first year of my channel. There's Game Day 2004 for PlayStation 2. And Game Day 2004 for, I'm guessing, original PlayStation. Interesting, interesting. And we've got some, I believe these are some of the, these are like window clean or window stickers. Got quite a few of them too. But for the PlayStation, it's probably going to be really hard to see the logo. But this is that kind where this, or maybe these are, no, I'm not even sure. Anyway. Very cool. I don't know that I'll ever stick them to anything. All right, we have Warrior Wear, Wario Wear Ink for the Nintendo GameCube. Get down to the end here. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I always liked this kind of button. They're not the metal buttons, but because they're not metal, this piece is just glued on there and it came off really easily. Classic NES series, new low price of $14.88 on the Game Boy Advance. There's another Zelda Four Sword Adventures for GameCube. Here is another of those Xbox 360 buttons, and that one still works, too. The eye toy for the PlayStation 2. Neat little gadget. Uh, actually precedes the Kinect and all that kind of stuff by quite a few years. Wasn't necessarily great, but it, it was okay. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix again. Yep, we're just down to the last few things. Pokemon Emerald version. Um, Sims 2 for the PC. Donkey Konga for the GameCube. And PlayStation 2, now $149.99 with ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Now that's the last of the, basically the buttons, but there are a few other things in here. Uh, I've got a SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 dog tag. John Cena on the front. Here is a little pin for Game Day 2003 advertising the Super Bowl. This is a, like one of the little metal pins. I've got a little pin like that for Gears of War. It's pretty neat. Not that I'm a big fan of the game, but it's neat to have. There's another one of those little tiny Xbox 360 buttons. Here is a pin for F-Zero GX. NFL Game Day 2004, Super Bowl 38. And looks like I got some more dog tag stuff. There's another Halo 2 dog tag unopened in that. Oh, and there is a Fable. This is Fable 2 keychain. And a Halo 3 dog tag. And then the last thing that I have here, and I just now it just now dawned on me that I forgot a box, so I guess I'll do a second video showing off a few more things. But this is pretty neat. This is a 2004 PlayStation 2 calendar, but it's not just a calendar. Like there's, you know, the first months and there's more months. But it's also colored markers on each side. Let's say PlayStation 2 on them. Like a flor these are all fluorescent colors. So there's fluorescent yellow, green, and like pink or red. But that was an, always one of my favorite little things that I got. So like I said, I forgot um, a second box that has a few more things. Not too much. It won't be too much of an extra video. But I'm going to cut this one off here because I don't want to have to... My camera, for some reason, is chopping longer videos into multiple parts. 
and that was my timer to let me know that I was getting close to that time frame. So instead of having to mess around with that, I'll cut this video off here. I'll come back with a second video after this one with the, uh, the last few things that I found. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed all this random clutter, and I'll see you in that next video.